about this one? Did you see it? Nine. What about this one here? Ten. Hi, welcome to Asian Garden to Depot. In Florida, summer is hot and humid. Winter melon grows very well, big and juicy. The fruit on the trellis gets so heavy they slide down to the ground. Try again. <laughs> I'm stronger than the flower. Yeah, you are strong, but this melon is very heavy, huh? Here we go. Speaking of winter melon, I remember a story I read online. An American first time grew winter melon and thought it should be something like watermelon. So after he harvested one, he sliced into long thin pieces and chew on the white flesh directly. He was so angry and disappointed. This melon tastes terrible. I feel sorry for his experience, but much sorrier for the innocent winter melon. Winter melon is cooling and healthy. It can be made into many delicious dishes. Although itself doesn't have much flavor, but it has great freshness and umami. When we cook it, we should try to maximize its natural umami. Winter melon stir fry with pork is one of our favorite dish. We call it stir frying, but actually it is a very soupy dish. So soupy, my kids can make sauce pond out of it. After removing the skin and seed, thinly slice winter melon flesh. Here I use a little bit over one pound. Minced ginger. Try to not use strong spices in this recipe or it will take over the natural umami. The same amount of pork. I use pork loin. This part has less meat smell and goes with winter melon's lightness and umami very well. Try to slice it as thin as possible, so it will be tender after cooked. Add 1 teaspoon sugar to enhance the umami, 1 teaspoon fava bean sauce paste, and very little touch white pepper. Mix them well. Set the heat at maximum. Add in 1 tablespoon oil to coat the wok. Add in winter melon slices. Stir and mix. Now we spread about half teaspoon salt to taste. Continue stirring. We add salt very early here, so it helps winter melon to make juice fast. Fresh winter melon has a lot of juice. After stirring about a minute, it becomes soupy. If your winter melon is not so fresh and has less juice, add a third to half cup of water. Let it boil until the umami come out. When the winter melon gets a little bit soft, take out and set aside. Give the wok a quick rinse. At maximum heat, add in 3 to 4 tablespoons oil. Tilt the wok off heating surface to fry sauce paste in the oil at low heat about 15 seconds until aroma released. Move the wok off the heat and add in pork. Move it back. Quickly stir the slices apart and turn them over. If you can, assist with some tossing. If not, just keep stirring. Now we spread salt to taste. After pork slices separated and most of them turn gray, add in winter melon, mix them well. Usually we don't like soupy stir frying, but this dish is an exception. Half cooked pork is soaked in winter melon's juice and get further cooked. It absorbs the juice and become tender and juicy. Meat aroma blends in the juice and also make the juice very delicious. Keep mixing until all the meat turns color and fully cooked. 
When the soup starts boiling again, it is time to dish out. In this dish, pork and winter melon are very tasty. But the best part is the super delicious soup. Every time we cook this dish at home, we double our rice. Sophia, what sauce pan? Did you want to make a sauce pan, Mom? I think we have enough sauce pan. Mom, can we just eat it? Okay, okay, Mama's coming. Pour the meat and melon together with a generous amount of soup over white rice. It is such an amazingly delicious meal. My kids would never have enough and keep asking for more and more. This is all for today. If you enjoy our video, please give us a thumb up and leave a comment. How is it, Harley?、Really? You can also visit our website at AsianGardenToday.com to purchase vegetable seed and cast iron wok. Thank you very much. We will see you next time. What is your favorite part? That you can mix it all together. What do you mix together? The vegetables, the meat.